home birth in Mexico. I'll get to why my face is painted red and no, it's not because I wish to do Indian face and be canceled by the woke mob, but home birth in Mexico with doulas. Should you do it? My goodness, our birth, and this was my wife's fourth baby, was simply amazing. Much better than going to the hospital. My wife went into labor and we knew that our doulas were very caring, decent individuals. And my wife went into labor at 1.15 a.m. on Sunday night. She told me to call the doulas immediately. And by 2.45 a.m., the baby was out. They barely made it here, but they were so kind, so gracious, and their energy was absolutely beautiful. The total price was 30,000 pesos, which with current exchange rate is a little bit under $1,800, say $1,750, right about there. So certainly much cheaper than giving birth in the United States in a hospital where the price might be eleven dollars to $20,000. Not sure. It depends on what type of insurance you have, if it covers it, whatever. But far cheaper. And it was a beautiful experience. And so several days later, everything is fully functional with the baby. And the doulas came over once again and explained the placenta, which we had saved. We hadn't thrown it out. The placenta came out in full, so there was no need in Mexico. The doctors normally reach in to the birth canal and try to, in the uterus, try, try to extract the placenta. They don't apparently even check whether or not it came out in whole. The doulas, because the placenta was intact, knew that they didn't have to do that, sparing my wife pain with that rapid of birth. You can imagine that there was a little bit of tearing, unfortunately, which happens normally during birth, but they were especially attentive to this fact. And we put the placenta in the fridge. You can see it here. This is the first time they've seen a blue placenta. I'm not sure if this is because it had been oxidized for whatever period of time we kept it out. And the reason that my face is red is they encouraged us to touch the placenta, to reach in to the, to, to hold it over our hands with a placenta. Actually, it holds a lot. Obviously, it held that baby. So we could hold it and it actually weighs a decent amount with the umbilical cord still attached. And it was beautiful. And they encouraged me just to spread the life of the placenta. Apparently, it has stem cells, whatever, over my face. And so nothing to lose. It was a beautiful birth. This is good blood that is making my face red. Beautiful blood, the blood of life. That placenta held our little girl by the name, her name is Rhea, for quite some time, <laughs> nine months to be almost exact. And it's, I, it's really cool. And the beautiful thing is when you see your baby come out, you cannot help but have a spiritual moment of gratitude and joy and wonder at the world and seeing her come out and her head and how rapidly she came into this world it was just it's just something that you don't forget and it's something that you'll forever hold but it opens you to that to the planet and whatever you're thinking about whatever you can't you're just so concentrated on this beautiful moment and just that universal energy just shines through you. It becomes reawakened within you is really what it is. And that's what being present is. And that's what good parenting is. So we look forward to that. But our baby came out beautiful. And I highly recommend that you give birth here in Mexico. <laughs> By at home, excuse me, at home. Peace and blessings and may the force be with you because we were talking about spiritual things. Peace out.